to another stream of Black Survival and as you might have noticed from the title of this video uh, the stream actually like I'm, I have finally purchased uh, Laura so I'm going to be playing a few normal games with Laura and then we'll move to, to uh, rank game and then tournament so let's begin Here we have Laura. I have already promoted Laura to like three stars using the confidence syringe. So, so character stats are her character stats are Laura's traits. Laura will have an increase in her attack stats when she has more empty slots in her inventory. Try to and achieve victory even though she has no recovery items in her inventory. Laura can check what is inside her opponent's bag with her skill casing the joint. That should be helpful to grasp your opponent's crafting route and harass them. So, uh, her, uh, Laura has two main masteries that is uh, Blunt and Throne. So, and also her skill burglar chic laura gains one of the following bonus effects based on the number of empty slots in her bag zero to two slots accuracy plus ten percent total attack damage plus five percent three to six slots accuracy plus five percent total attack damage plus ten percent and this one is casing the joint combat type 30 second cooldown not usable on wild animals on her next attack, Laura gets to see the content of the enemy's bag and her attack damage is enhanced based on the grade of each item in the bag. Each item grants a 1, 2, 3, 5 or 7 bonus attack based on their grade. The bonus for items made of gold or gem is doubled. Okay, this is a like interesting skill definitely and so far, well... Her research journals include uh, behavior pattern, more than 1000 damage to enemy in game, craft 10 gold items, uh, win 10 time, one time while holding chainsaw. And also let's see her basic profile. Okay, Selineria. Okay, that's like her real name. Basically, she's 27. Uh, her, she's from Spain. Family nun notes, watch over your belongings carefully when you approach her. Okay. Laura has been conspicuous from a young age. Back then, there were already rumors telling that there wasn't anything she couldn't steal and no security could stop her. But at the time, she had just been a criminal figure that would only appear in local news. She became famous after stealing artifacts from a criminal organization that was known for drug trafficking. The theft happened while, while the police had planned a special operation toward the criminal organization and were waiting nearby. Despite the intense three-way confrontation raging on, Laura managed to steal the artifacts and even rescue a cornered police officer. None of them were able to catch her. They later stated that she used her whip to fly away between the subway and the building. Like in a superhero movie. She is basically like Catwoman, kind of. Okay, so news of the incident as well as photos of Laura's face spread across the world and Laura became a hot topic for of conversation. It's a fun fact that the police officer she rescued who turned out to be one of her childhood friends, Hector. Other news revealed that she usually steals from corrupted rich people and regularly helps the poor, raising public sympathy towards her. Basically, a Robin Hood thief. Eventually, the police launched a massive campaign led by Hector to arrest Laura. She managed to cut her way through every one of their stratagems and decided to join Lumia Island. It seems appropriate to say that she finally found something she couldn't steal. Okay. So, I guess Laura can't buy or s steal her way out of the Lumia Island, so that's what this statement means. Probably, uh, Laura deludes herself uh, into believing that she can escape 
Lumiere Island whenever she wished to. Maintaining this Ill illusion seems to be key to controlling her. However, please always keep a close eye on your belongings. I wouldn't be surprised to see things disappearing. Senior researcher Dr. B. Okay, very interesting backstory. And thanks for the follow, uh, Venom Strike Sonata. So I'll be first playing a few normal, like, I think two normal games because obviously for Laura, I cannot, like, you know. Okay, I will take the supplies and booster items. And I'll take uh, breath seeking. I'll also be using the blunt instead of, you know, the. What can I say? I can, like. I'll go for blunt first instead of, like, uh, the throne because throne is, like, a bit troublesome to craft. And. Blunt is like safe bet, so I'll go with that. Normal game, master start. Okay, I love Laura's voice, okay? Like, the voice, it's so sultry. I love the voice acting in this one. And also notice, uh, I cannot see clearly in the images that Laura has two tattoos. And in this one, this one is more clearly seen. And as you can see, she has thick thighs, like thick thighs. Mommy Laura, and then Mummy Laura, like honestly, Laura is like sexy AF. There, I said it. Okay, so we are gonna start a normal game. Let's hope I don't mess this up. Okay, so I wish you luck. What do you have in mind? Let's first see what the opponents have. Okay, then I'll change the armor to doctor's gown. I'll go for dazzling armor, you know, shiny. And first I'll go through cemetery because I need, you know, feathers. Okay, they're already fights have started out. I'll craft white cream fan first, obviously, and there we go. As you can see, when I cast uh, casing the joint, it showed the see attack sleep uh, sleeper princess and bread and water. You can see in the bag what items are there. Uh, obviously, you have to see the flavor text in the you know notification in the uh, below. So you have to keep in mind. You have to open your eyes and like keep that in mind. Okay, let's go towards slums. Okay, I actually need the cloth. I'll just take the cloth as well, even though my, you know, bonus drops because of that. I'll. Okay, we got the lighter. I'll drop the bird eggs. Let's go to hotel first. Mm -hmm. Over there. What is this? It looks valuable, doesn't it? <laughs> Looking different. <laughs> okay. That was a close call. I don't know where he ran off to, but like. 
this is why i sometimes wish we could you know equip multiple you know perks uh, or aptitudes as they call it in this game right come on ice my dear show up searching there we go we found it dazzling armor we have crafted it now i'll go for i don't know banana leaf pen i'll go to trail first Okay, Laura has an empty bag. Surprising. Um, okay. Okay, we got a gemstone. I'm just gonna pop in real quick to tunnel for a pickaxe. If I can. Okay. Okay. Come on, pickaxe, my dude. Please show up. Um. There we go, we got pickaxe, I'll be, let's see one second, blade, blade, two blade guys, so, blades, so headpiece is done, okay, let's get a trail again, let's go, Okay, I'm, I am being lucky today, <laughs> so I got another piece of, okay, I got the blueprint directly, I, okay, so now actually what I'm searching for is like that blunt piece, uh, what do they call that? uh the figurine right uh my god my oh yeah anatomy model it's called an anatomy model yeah found it uh i'll craft seeding palm scroll and we're done with that okay so let's go we 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 Okay, now I'm searching for a pickaxe, like, got it, I'll craft golden bracelet, then I can go for drop a knee, uh, I'll take the cloth, actually I'll take the leather. Okay, let's get a town hall now. Uh, Come on, uh, I'm searching for a piece of cloth. Uh, once I have the cloth, I can complete my leg armor piece. Okay, I got material as well. My god, perfect. I can definitely go for Kundala now. So, come 
on, Clot, please. Show up. Sometimes the drop rate of items is like so annoying. Okay, found it. Okay. Come on, iron ore. Okay, that was a good, good kill. Okay, I definitely need some stamina items, so having that is fine. Let's go to fire station. Okay, Voros might be, uh, I don't know, bot, I suppose, maybe. Boril was killed by a gorilla, really? Okay, one thing I have to say, I really love the voice of Laura, like... It's so sensual, I love it, like... It's sultry, I love that, like... You know the vibes it gives off, like... She doesn't care about anyone, like, those vibes are, like, fully present in that. I like that. Like how she goes, this might sting a little. Like, I cannot do voice and drop, obviously. So, now I'm searching for a piece of cloth. There we go, found it. Now I only need the long rod. I'll, I'll take the back this, definitely. Let's go to uptown. Uptown. Adrenaline drink. I'll use that in the final area because obviously. Okay. Okay, I got injured. That's not good. Let's first go, uh, have a first aid, right? Okay, first aid, first aid. Let's go to pond. Okay, Dr. Littering. Okay, Littering is tough. It will take time to wear her down, basically.
I'll take the holy blood, definitely. Should I go for red muscle? Okay, come on, engineer Dr. Mocha, Monkey King boss. So that's gonna take a while. Come on, my dear. Monkey King bar is quite long to cross, right? First, let's uh, cross the flint. That would be best. Green stone is done. Okay, wire, we got it. Let's go to lighthouse. Uh, Okay, so I just need iron ore, scrap metal, and long rod. That was nice, I got the drop in here uh, done free because I got the, you know. Okay, now I have to chase down and kill the enemies before my timer runs out, right? Let's go to Storms again. Laura is great. Like, basically, her main strategy, which I have figured out for now, is, like, to harass the enemy and, like, use her slot advantage to, you know, gain traction. But, obviously, this is just a normal game. 
Okay. Oh, the research journal behavior pattern is. I have got it. Okay. Okay, I already reviewed over thousand damage, so I got the. Okay, that is fun. Like obviously, normals are vastly different from rank games because I would get bullied super hard in rank games if I, you know. Ooh, hey! I'm super happy. Okay, Laura, Laura. Behavior pattern. Laura came to the island believing that there is something here impossible to steal. She seems to believe that such an item is hidden in the research center. It is logical that she targeted test subjects related to the research center. JP was the first one on her radar. As, she, as soon as she learned about his plan to hack the research center to open its doors, Laura tried to stay close to him. It seemed as if she was seducing him, but he wasn't exactly re receptive to her approach. Uh, for a hacker used to be surrounded by computers rather than people, Laura's approach must have felt as intrusive. As soon as he saw through her little game, he did his best to avoid her. Nikki seems to have a special bond with Laura. Laura seems to be piqued, uh, seems to have piqued Nikki's interest. She probably wants to learn how to manipulate Laura's whip. It might be useful when it comes to stunt action. However, she might be a little too short to manipulate such a huge whip. Even if Nikki's perseverance is one of her best qualities, it probably won't be of help this time. Assistant researcher in charge, Dr. Yu. I notice she cannot turn a blind eye to people in need. She would provide items to help people, such as medicine to Sicilia or a hoodie to Bianca, to help her stay hidden from the sun. Ah, of course, she would have stolen these from other test subjects. Okay, so she's full on the phantom thief. Okay, Laura has special voice effects. Oh, Laura to Jackie. Think you can catch me, Jackie? Ooh, I like it. I love the dialogues. Oh, I I know normally I'm super salty about the you know changes made to the voice acting, uh, voices of the older characters. But Laura is a new character, and her voice like yeah, it suits her. So I'm happy, and uh, it's. Uh, we only have 13 minutes to play enter the tournament so what shall we do we cannot like if I enter the tournament I won't be able to play another rank game so since it's back to being 22 minutes long so yeah hmm you know what I could always play PvE let's see Laura is not available in PvE yet, is she? No. And honestly, right now, I don't want to play PvE because, like, it's too lengthy and cumbersome to play. Like, I don't know about the other players, but, like, PvE is instead more stressful for me sometimes because uh, it takes super long to find the items you need to craft and then you're suddenly meet a uh, enraged bear and then you get one hit KO'd and then you lose all progress and points so honestly a labyrinth host could you know use some work and there is always a glitch in the a number of food items or something like for example if you're gonna get five gold items then instead you only get four gold or you know four food items so like I don't like those slight glitches, the, those like make the whole thing, you know, cumbersome, I would say. Like, I like Labyrinthos, I like the storyline behind it, you know, enraged test subjects, and I definitely adore the enraged test subjects skin, specifically the uh, Chiara, Jackie, and Zahir ones. Those three are like so pretty, I want them, but like... I'm too lazy to accumulate, you know, 
the points, the labyrinth of tokens uh, for that. Like, I accumulated like total 6,000 or something, but I end up converting them to gems. So, like, yeah, I'm not that good of a person. Like, I don't have proper management. Like, if you see the PvE shop, you know this Chiara one? It's so pretty. It looks like she's a fantasy mage, basically. I think we have this sewer skin also, the healer sewer skin. This basically looks like from the same universe. Uh, the one thing I like is that uh, Chiara's expression. And even though like her dress is like a fantasy nun outfit, it doesn't look, you know, out of place. Unlike that one Agalea Pass skin that like honestly Chiara looks so weird with those uh you know her dress being full of what do they call it zippers yeah zippers yeah so those like look awful but this skin looks pretty and i like it and also the enraged jahir skin i like the vibes of it you know the golden eye in the middle of the chest the tassels the golden iris the hair highlight I like that. And my most favorite PvE skin, the Enraged Jackie skin. Just look at that blood red moon. I love that she is like having that black satin inner dress. On top of that, she has that huge black jacket and pretty black gloves. It looks mortifying. Like it is scary, but like it's also peak aesthetic, you know? Of course, the chains, like, in the background, like, those blood chains uh, and those broken chains, like, mm, they could do better. But honestly, I just love the, you know, dress of Jackie in this one, like. And also, it shows her abs, like, pretty abs. Okay. I, I, I am a simp for the skin, so, like, I am not ashamed to admit that. And honestly, the one point I ha uh, don't like about the skin is like uh, Jackie's right eye side that's covered by her bang somewhat looks weird compared to her left eye, which like totally exudes killing intent. And also her hair, you know, blends in with the moon background. Like they could have done that a bit better. Overall, my favorite PvE skin would be the Enraged Chiara skin. Even the Burnish skin is good. But the Edila skin... Oh, why? Why is the spectacle so wrong? And also, like for her right side, the spectacle frame is roundish. But the left frame, the spectacle is like a rhombus plus the dress. Nikki also like what is this weird boob window in the between like what like and also her waist seems weird like don't at me okay like I and the don't even get me started on the enraged Jenny skin and the enraged Hyunwoo skin like totally awful the top four skins are good Chiara, Zahir, Jackie and Bernice those are good. I like them. Anyways, but the new Adila skin is pretty. I, uh, the, you know, this, what do they say? Item list. The red carpet Adila skin is pretty. This one, I like the ambience of this one, right? But I do not like the red carpet my skin. Like, did they do oh my god like this looks like a typical hollywood gown like oh my god the waist the weird pear shape of her body the silhouette uh oh my god this this looks atrocious just let me tell you and waiter jp looks like this one character from that chinese novel like what is that name uh, National School Prince is a girl. Yeah, he looks just like that. Like, I, I 
do not know what was the point of having pen drive earrings like i don't know uh okay so that was what i thought and okay we have five minutes till the tournament we and let's get a collection skin collection um Laura skin. I love the evening dress, but I just look at the room. Well, you have a good eye for people, don't, don't you? you? Laura could choke me with those ties and I'd be happy. Anyways. I want to see the new animation for the skin like now for example uh, my skin if you see the previous my skins right okay this one is there red cup okay the face looks a bit weird okay where is my my M A I? Now look at Mai's normal body I shape. Don't wanna do it. Like just look at even in this one or in this one or in this one. This one is the best my skin in terms of anatomy, I would say. Like just look at her nice figure. The silhouette is nice. But oh my god, the what will I say? Uh, what is this disastrous waistline? My god. I normally do not nit nitpick that much on the dress and, you know, characters, new skins, but this one just has me screaming in rage. Like, Mai looks like a stripper. My god, no. She's supposed to be a fashion designer, so obviously she is going to have a good you know dress designs obviously and sh she i only need to stand me. here and look pretty I right oh you also have red carpet money what do you think about that skin tell me like i personally think it's a disaster in terms of you know the design of the dress at least uh, that's what I think. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Uh, okay, so I am not as perfect as I appear. I will change to Yuki for like the tournament. Uh, there are three minutes left, so honestly, give me feedback. What do you think? Uh, goodies, goodies, li uh, life, life, Fox? Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Uh... Okay, so uh, that's what I, I just gave my two cents. Like uh, for my also, like even the out right? down my this skin, like. Like, also her head, the weird angle of head. Uh, I think personally, my most favorite my skin is the high school my skin. Like, I just like the natural waistline and the skirt design, and it shows a lot of her characteristics. Okay, okay, the new JP skin. Okay. For me, the idol JP skin is the most pretty. I find the skin the most pretty. I don't know. Like, this one has a lot of character as well. I like the blue tux. Uh, I also like that lapel pin, you know? And the, the way he is hold, uh, he has a pen drive on his wrist and that has a small eye on it. Uh, but I think he could have worn a single pen drive earring. Or the pen drive earring size could have been smaller, like, like in this one. I I just like the idol JP skin the best of 
and uh, the second would be rudolph jb i actually like the vibes of this the oversized red jacket does it for me i i just love that you know over the top drama i i, I want a big ass jacket like this but we don't have much you know winter in our in our area like uh, the place where i live uh, we don't get too much cold so it's no use i also like the gambler jp skin like some of the older skins have nice designs definitely and i think uh, if i had to say like i am saving up for you know um, some credit rolls and stuff like uh, you know in the new update they give us uh, i think 3000 gems three or five thousand gems they gave us i think and uh, along with it like no three thousand gems plus five thousand credits and i used it to buy these two pretty little avatars the hitman soichi avatar and the idol hinwa avatar like i didn't have avatars before and these two pretty <laughs> I love that when Soichi sleeps, he, uh, he holds a tiny little doll of Asuka thing. Okay, let's go. Angelica, my dear. Okay, so my main goal for playing the tournament is like tournament shop. I want to buy this cadet Isol skin. It's pretty. I want it. Uh, yeah, I want that skin. And also, I have the cadet Adela skin. I like the cadet Leon skin as well. I want those. The Hyunwoo skin as well. Obviously, I want the pretty little skins. That's my main goal. I also bought the, you know, rosy monologue. I have. I've bought it. So, for now, my main goal is to accumulate enough uh, tournament tokens, prize tokens, so that I, I can, you know, get that with me. And, uh, if I could assemble a mass 200,000 uh, tournament tokens, then I would definitely buy the art book, the Black Survival art book that we have here in the shop. I would love, love to have it. You know, this, the art of Black Survival. I would, uh, I, I would love to have it, but. Obviously, my I normally don't get time to play the tournament, so yeah, it's gonna be tough to assemble the points. Like today, the reason I could do this stream is because I reached home early from college, so that's why I could squeeze out the time to make this. Otherwise, my schedule is all over the place. That's why I don't have a specific stream schedule in my account like i just squeeze in whenever i can okay so we'll be waiting for tournament and meanwhile we can see ranking once i get into lion league i get ranking so i am at 947 right now very sad my main server is singapore that is c uh the ratio 99.9% so for that 0.1% I got transferred over to the Korean server lol and okay these are super high rank points like Yasara is the top player right now and the rank points are over 15,000 that's like super cool meanwhile I'm at only 1,000 yeah I need to 
Hi, Hydra. Okay, so we have 51 participants. Okay, 52 participants already. Let's see how this goes. I think tournaments is like the only one which segregates players according to their league rank. So that's why it's like it can be said to be a bit more fair because you cannot, uh, you know, play the other leagues that you are in, you know, so. Like normally what happens in ranked games is that uh, two, three dra dragon players get transferred into the lobby and then they wipe the floor with me. So. And we are in. So tournament begins. Uh, after this is the first time I've played tournament after the new uh, version 10.8.0 update. That is the rollback update. So let's see. If there is any changes in the gameplay, because I, wish you luck. I shan't hold myself, myself back. back. Okay, so dazzling armor. Okay. Cookies. Lucky. I'll craft that. You know, one point five liter stamina bottle because water bottles are like rare resources and it's easy to you know lose stamina fast like okay so now i'm actually searching for a gemstone in pond please show up my dear Okay, we got that. Uh, I'll be going to hospital real quick. Okay. That Fiora has way more health items than me, so... Okay, that was a bad decision. So Ichi is like very troublesome to deal with if you have like no health items because Soichi can do a lot of critical damage and the phony deal is like it doesn't even allow you to gain mastery so Okay, we got the lighter. I might have to throw away the needle right now. Let's go to hotel. Okay, now I'm searching for a piece of ice, if possible. I'll take that. See you soon to craft clean leggings. Come on, ice, show up. Okay, we got the ice. Okay, weapons are done, so. Ok, 
Okay, let's go to temple. I'm so confused. Okay, he's not the people. Okay, a lot of blunt players, so I think we should go for that gear arm splendor. Okay, Rio is dead. Player 7349 is dead. Okay, let's go to Tina. Take the magazine. Fish sashimi as well. Definitely. Um cemetery. I'm going to cemetery. Attention! I will cut you down! Ah. Attention! Ah. Ah. Okay, uh, what do I need the most? Uh, I need iron ore. I definitely need that. Uh, I need a shamshir. Okay, I got the shamshir. Harpy. Done. Uh, I'll take the scrap metal. Steel done. Then I can take the battery. Let's first go to Lighthouse and craft the left iron battery. Let's check what each of their people have. Most of them have sword stopper. That will be bad. Okay, sports drink. Okay, so now we need a steel shield for that, first and foremost. Tur turtle shell, what will I drop? Sashimi? Sorry. Okay, so now I need a piece of leather, then at least I'll have the steel shield done, then I can move on to... School and uptown. So, time to do that. Uh, Okay, I need a reserve armband.
It's a shame I had to drop the needle in the beginning. Okay, let's recover some health. Okay, rest of all the players are blunt players, so I need to have the splendor somehow. I also need to craft some health items because Yuki is very dependent on health for performance. Come on, my dear TV, show up. Okay, we got the TV. Electron blaster is done. I'll take the hairband. What do I need right now the most? Um, ah, the response. I clicked the alley button, but it. Oh, damn it. Okay, so that marks the end of the tournament. Now the only character I've left to purchase is Aiden, but I'll do it after a bit of time because I want to push some of the characters in 3 stars to 4 stars and also some characters from 4 stars to 5 stars and I, to do that it'll take some time so that's what I'm planning to do so okay oh yeah I agree with goodies like Fox uh, I like Rudolph skin as well of JP so yeah uh, I don't know what uh, like this stream has been a bit chaotic because I am doing it like inside my house on the phone just like that so uh, if you notice any anomalies in the voice or something just tell me and I'll try to rectify it so I suppose I'll end the stream here for today have a good day ahead or good night if that's your timeline uh, time zone so I suppose enjoy your time for the rest of the day thank you for watching